The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to your Thursday Classic Game Room Q&A. Let's get down to business. I've been pretty busy lately finishing my newest book, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, which is looking really good. And you can pre-party that by reading Lord Carnage Book 1 hardcover or download it on Kindle. Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, featuring a cyborg ninja, drunk chicken, talking spaceship, flying squid, broken computer, and lots of awesomeness. Let's get started with some questions. Teddy Kong Country asks my thoughts on cheap American beer. If my only option is cheap American beer, I'm drinking water. Unless they have Yangling. Yangling's actually good. I like Yangling. Pennsylvanian beer. And Sam Adams is good, too. They frequently have Sam Adams in the lineup with bad, cheap American beer. Sam Adams is legit. Okay, question here from uh, Epic, Epic Snux 2002. I love your passion for the Vectrex and obsolete technology. Did you ever own a Vectrex when you were younger, and how many games do you have for it? I never owned a Vectrex when I was a kid. I never even saw one until I got much older and bought one on eBay, and it's the one I use today. I love the Vectrex. I've got a whole lot of games for it. In fact, I have most of the Vectrex games. Sadly, the library is not as big as like a Sega Genesis or the Atari 2600 or something, but there's nothing else like the Vectrex. It's, it's a real crowd pleaser, too. Whenever someone sees the Vectrex for the first time, it's like, it's incredible. Hopefully, the PlayStation 5 will be nothing more than a rebadged Vectrex. Mark, you're stuck in purgatory. You have to choose between two games for eternity, Truxton 1 and 2. Sergeant Power Rex Glove Colt asks about the fine folks who have donated massive game collections to the show, and I am eternally grateful to them, I will say that. Uh, some people support the shows in, in different ways, in their own ways, and I thank you for it. I will say this, thanks to Felicity, I will never run out of hamster games for the Game Boy. Lots of hamster games. New hamster game reviews, inbound. Gar1 asks about drawing. Drawing. I like to draw pictures. The uh, Lord Car the Drawing with Lord Carnage series will return. I haven't done too many of them lately. I've been in between camera setups and my drawing table. Also, it's very hard to talk and draw when I'm doing finishing work on the book. I, I can only do one thing at a time. I can draw and sketch, but I, or talk and sketch, but I can't talk and, like, finish. Uh, any advice for drawing or getting into animation? Uh, practice, practice, and practice. Also, talk to people in the industry. I'm kind of on the outside of the industry. I don't have any really good advice other than practice. Uh-oh, Teddy Kong Country asks, where did all the beer go? I open the fridge, and there's only three beers left. Whew. Well, at least there's three. What's up with that? Um, I would say that Lord Carnage snuck into your, your fridge overnight and drank the majority of a case of beer, so... You should finish those three beers, buy some more, because Lord Carnage will most likely return and drink the rest again. That's, that's the way he rolls. Zephyr asks, The Jar Jar Car. Better not be Jar Jar rolled in this question. If Jar Jar could drive, what car would best fit him? Whatever car is on fire and exploding. So probably a Pontiac Aztec. Pac-Man Fever asks Ken Boki. I've got Pac-Man Fever, and the only cure for Pac-Man Fever is Miss Pac-Man. Do you own the song Pac-Man Fever on vinyl? I don't. I've got a Pac-Man wristband. But not Pac-Man Fever on vinyl yet. Studio AC. Are you going to see the movie Pixels? I'll wait and hear how it is first. Kirby vs. Kratos asks Professor Nightwipes. Ooh. I think I've brought that up before, haven't I? Kirby versus Kratos? That would be an amazing battle. Because they're both incredible warriors. I think what, what should happen is that Kirby and Kratos should team up and destroy the rest of the video game characters. Like, they could chase down Mario and Sonic and they'd try to get away, but Kirby would suck them in and then Kratos would come flying out of the, flying out of the air with, like, big sharp things and start stabbing them and hacking them and ripping off their wings and... Kirby would make sunshine and rainbows and... Be awesome. Hey Mark, why are you hiding that illustrious hair by wearing a hat? Asks Sizzle86. 
This is a helmet. There you go. There's the hair. Illustrious. Sizzle also says, do you, uh, do you wish there was a Sega Laserdisc add-on? Yes, I wish there was a Sega Laserdisc add-on. Uh, but check this out, there is actually a Laserdisc player, I think it's the Laser Active, which has a Sega Genesis add-on built into the Laserdisc player. Incredible. They're like a thousand dollars, so I don't have one. Bland Flakes asks how I celebrated the 4th of July. Drinking beer, relaxing, and reading comic books. The Max Fax 1977 asks about a proper Metroid sequel, which should be on the Vectrex. What do you think of the new Metroid Prime Federation Forces? Something displayed, displayed. I, you know, I haven't, I actually haven't seen anything about that. But I like Metroid. I prefer the older ones, personally, but. Solve Not to asks, are Robocop 2 and 3 worth the watch? Well, that's valuable time that could be spent watching the first Robocop, I'm not sure. Robocop 2 has its moments, but the first one is by far the best. Snipers1 Illuminati asks, When will we get reviews for the PC-98? When I get one. I don't have one yet. At this point, the only game systems I don't have are like the really rare and expensive ones. So, eventually. I need to get like the Bally Astrocade and a couple other rare ones. How do I respond to rumors of the upcoming Nintendo NX? If it doesn't support the Game Boy printer, screw it. That's my response. Game Boy printer. What do you think of GameStop selling retro consoles and games? <laughs> what, you mean they can't run their business by selling just new games when they only make like four new games a year now? Besides, didn't they try that and wasn't that called Funko Land? The last proud Vita owner asks, what do I think of Air Mech? Because it's basically a Herzog Zwei remake, and you're right, it is. I, I played it on PC. It's not bad, but I prefer Herzog Zwei on the Genesis. But yeah, Air, Air Mech definitely isn't too bad. James Kelly 2600 asks, Spyro Trilogy. Will you review the rest of these Spyro PS1 games? Yes, eventually. I'm not sure if I have them, but I might. I might have them, but I definitely will review them because I like Spyro. Okay. Oh, I saw, I saw a Van Damme question in there earlier. Got to go to the Van Damme questions. How would you react if you met Jean-Claude Van Damme in real life? Asks Ben Drown 33. Well, I've met a lot of actors in real life. And the thing you got to remember when meeting an actor is they're an actor. They act like someone else on screen. So meeting them in person is typically disappointing. Unless they're Bruce Campbell, because he's awesome. And I have met him. He signed his book. Well, it's my book. He signed my book. And then I think one of his handlers sh shuffled me along in the line, and I was like, Bruce, but you're awesome. I think everybody was like that. And then he just effortlessly manages it. He's good. I haven't met Van Damme, but if I did, I'd probably be like kidding me, be like, yay, it's Van Damme. But I have no idea what he's actually like, so. Dustin Nunn 1988 asks, Hey Mark, will we get a Dreamcast 2? Will Dreamcast 2 be made? I hope so. I wish Sega would make a Dreamcast 2 or, or somebody. It should have 4D technology and a modem. Trying to answer some questions from people I haven't answered questions from before. Evil, Evil Trovis asks, If I'm looking forward to Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, yeah, I, I really liked the old school Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. Like they were, they were great. Like the Dreamcast ones, terrific. But since then, just the excitement of them has kind of gone away. I don't know. Am I looking forward to it? I haven't thought about Tony Hawk Pro Skater in years, so maybe we'll see how it is. Drift asks if I've seen Kung Fury yet. I, I haven't seen it yet. Um, and Truxton for Vectrex featuring Jean-Claude Van Damme says, What would you do in this situation? Imagine you're driving in your space El Camino. In space. A space cop, also in space, pulls you over. You exit the car while the space cop walks over to you. He says your ship has a major safety violation on its wing. He explains in detail how it could kill you. He pulls out his gun. He says he's going to blow you up for endangering yourself. What do you do? I would push the button on the Space El Camino's dashboard, which immediately electrocutes everything in a half-mile radius. 
and then fly away while listening to disco and get a cup of coffee. That's what I would do. Peaver402 asks if I'm excited for the new Dreamcast games, and he sends a list of 10 new Dreamcast games for 2015. No way! Am I excited for that? Yes, I'll have to read that list in a little bit here. Some of the best games in the last couple years have been on the Sega Dreamcast, as you all know. Let's see here, what else we got? A couple more questions for the day. Gabe Ginger 63 asks, can Jesus return in newer videos? Well, I'm working on a new puppet, one that looks exactly like Jesus from, from the comic books, from Lord Carnage and he's an Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. He mans the guns when Space Scar runs out of batteries, and he's king in part of the other, well, you'll see. Jesus as king, with a cane that has an eight ball on it, is entertaining. And uh, Mega Video Gamer 1000 asks Nintendo NX. Compatibility with Game Boy Printer is a must. Because that way, I can use the rest of my Game Boy Printer paper and print things and stick them up all over the place. You know what Nintendo should do? They should release a handheld game system called the Game Boy. One with a black and white screen that's not backlit. So that you need lights to see it. I have no idea why I'm actually looking up. It's as if I'm expecting something. What does the NX stand for? No Xanadu. That's obvious. Last question. Here we go. Nate Guerra Guerra 14 asks, Hey Mark, did you hear about the new Godzilla game on PS4? It looks awesome. I've heard about it. I haven't actually seen anything, but if you're telling me it looks awesome, then I choose to believe it will be. Because, damn it, we could use a new Godzilla game that's awesome. New reviews are in the works for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, All-Star Battle, Rippin' Riders, Drive Club, Metro 2033, and so many, many Many more. Flay Truxton, see you next time. The best of Classic Game Room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set.